Hello students, welcome you all to the video lecture on control systems engineering. Today we are going to see the problem to find out the response of unity feedback system whose open loop transfer function is g of s equal to 4 by s into s plus 5 when the input is unit step. So in order to solve this problem that is we need to find out the response. The response is given by c of t. So the response is generally given by c of t. So in order to know the c of t first we need to consider the transfer function which is given by c of s by r of s and once we know the unit step input that is r of t value we can find out the r of s value and the, we can substitute okay and using a g of s and the closed loop system we can determine the c of s value and finally we can take inverse laplace transformation and we can find out the c of t so for this problem first we need to consider a closed loop system okay so the general diagram of closed loop system is we have a summing point and then we have a open loop transfer function that is g of s okay and then the input is given by r of s and output is given by s of a, c of s and we have a feedback okay and generally in the feedback we will consider h of s okay but here they have given it is unity feedback system so here in the feedback we are considering it as 1 okay so the general c of s by r of s is given by the open loop transfer function g of s divided by 1 here since we have minus here we have to put plus into g of s into generally it is h of s but here the h of s value is 1 so for unity feedback system always we need to consider the transfer function c of s by r of s as g of s divided by 1 plus g of s why because h of s value is 1 ok so first we need to consider the transfer function formula so once we know that we can substitute the g of s value here and we can find out c of s by r of s so the transfer function is given by c of s by r of s which is nothing but g of s divided by 1 plus g of s and we know that g of s in this problem it is 4 by s into s plus 5 divided by 1 plus 4 by s into s plus 5. So let us simplify the term. So numerator I have 4 by s into s plus 5 denominator I have so since the LCM is this term ok s into s plus 5 just whatever you have here just multiply this term with this. So 1 into this term is nothing but the same term s into s plus 5 plus 4 ok. Anyway denominator denominator term is same you can cancel out that and we have in the numerator I have 4 in the denominator I have s into s plus 5 plus 4. So just simplify the denominator term s into s is s square and phi into s is phi s plus 4. So now c of s by r of s is nothing but 4 by s square plus phi s plus 4 ok. So you can either use your calculator and find out the factors ok. So in the calculator if you are using press mode press until you get equation once you get equation press right arrow you will get degree in the degree you give 2. So once you have given that it will ask for a b c value here a square coefficient is a, a is 1, s coefficient is b, b is 5, c value is 4. So give all those values give equal to ok. So once you have given that it will give factors ok. So either you can do like that or so 4 ok. So 4 ones are 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So I can write it as 4 by s plus 4 into s plus 1. Okay. So in the calculator you will be getting right 1 value as minus 4, 1 value as minus 1. Okay. So whatever you have here you just change your sign and write here. Okay. So minus 4 means s plus 4, minus 1 means s plus 1. Okay. So once you have done that you can write your factors like this and now we are 
going to apply the input right so we know in the question they have given the input is step input okay so when the input is step signal what you can write r of t that is your input signal is nothing but 1 okay so whenever r of t is 1 i can write r of s as 1 by s because laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s okay so they have given the input is unit step signal okay so your r of t is considered as 1 r of s is nothing but laplace transformation of 1 which is nothing but 1 by s so now we have to substitute this 1 by s here okay so we can rewrite the expression c of s which is equal to r of s into 4 by s plus 4 into s plus 1 okay so here we have s plus 4 into s plus 1 so you can write the term as s plus 1 into s plus 4 also it is yarish there is no issues we know that r of s is 1 by s so 4 by s into s plus 4 into s plus 1 okay so this is your c of s term okay so now we are going to apply the partial fraction for this because we do not have any direct formula for this we cannot apply inverse Laplace transformation directly so let us apply the partial fraction and split your term then we can apply the inverse Laplace so a by s b by s plus 4 plus c by s plus 1 ok so now compare this term and this term so numerator whatever you have right in the left hand side so 4 equal to ok and compare this denominator with each and every denominator term so this term i have yes here also yes which term is not there those values you have to multiply with a so already s is there which is not there s plus 4 and s plus 1 multiply with a similarly b for b term the denominator is s plus 4 what are all the other terms s into s plus 1 that you have to multiply with b similarly compare this denominator with s plus 1 s plus 1 is there so which is not there s and s plus 4 so multiply those terms with c ok so once you have done that so now what are all the substitution values one value since s is what s equal to 0 ok so one substitution value is s equal to 0 so s plus 4 equal to 0 so s equal to minus 4 is another substitution value s plus 1 I have so s equal to minus 1 is another substitution value ok so use these values and find out what is a b c ok so here 4 which is equal to when s equal to 0 this term this term get cancelled only a will be there so here it is 4 here it is 1 ok anyway 4 4 get cancelled a equal to 1 1 by 1 is 1 so a is equal to 1 substitute s equal to minus 4 left hand side I do not have s value so just 4 will be there as it is when s, e, uh, s equal to minus 4 anyway this term get cancelled this term get cancelled only b is available so minus 4 into minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 ok anyway this 4 this 4 get cancelled and minus into minus get cancelled so 1 is equal to b into 3 so b is equal to 1 by 3 ok so next s equal to minus 1 again there is no s value take 4 as it is when i substitute s equal to minus 1 this term get cancelled this term get cancelled only c is available so wherever you have a substitute s equal to minus 1 so minus 1 plus 4 is 3 so c is equal to minus 4 by 3 ok so once you have done that substitute in your c of s value Okay, so c of s is given by a by s so 1 by s plus 1 by 3 divided by s plus 4 and then minus 4 by 3 divided by s plus 1. So for this expression I have to apply the inverse Laplace transformation so that I can find out the response c of t. So for that we should know formulas like 
<coughs> L inverse of 1 by S is 1 and L inverse of 1 by S plus A is E power minus A T. Okay, so, using that anyway when, when we apply inverse Laplace transformation C of S when we apply inverse Laplace it will become C of T which is equal to and Laplace inverse of 1 by S is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 3 is constant 1 by S plus 4 instead of A I have 4 so it is E power minus 4 T and minus 4 by 3 is constant you can take that outside and 1 by S plus 1 for 1 by S plus 1 I have E power minus T ok. So, this is my final response. So, the response has been determined. So, first whenever open loop transfer function is given we have to find out the closed loop transfer function. So, once we have obtained that you just substitute R of S value ok then apply the partial fraction then take inverse Laplace transformation and find out the response ok. Thank you, thanks for watching.